morning, everybody. Coach Aaron here. Fitness over 50. But we don't grow old. You know, we age like a fine wine. Just got done with a killer Tabata workout. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Whew. Some intense moves. It was good. I had my Iron Maiden cranking. Man, I miss concerts. I'm looking forward to getting back to those. This morning, I want to ask you, have you mastered the mayhem? Have you figured out how to get through all the noise in life? I was talking to my badass boot camp this morning about master the mayhem. And I just thought it was a good talk. It was worth repeating. And if you're interested in the badass boot camp, send me a message, comment, I'll hook you up. We focus on all the things I'm about to talk about. How do you master the mayhem? The key is to block out that noise, block out the anxiety, block out the stress, block out the depression. You gotta focus on the things that are important. That's how you master the mayhem. The first is the physical. You gotta focus on yourself. If you're not healthy, you can't take care of anyone else. It is critical that you focus on yourself. As you get older, it becomes even more and more important. I mean, I, I talk about this all the time. I see people, same age, 70, 70. One person with a walker needs a wheelchair. The other guy running Spartan races. What's the difference? The difference is they took care of their body. They exercise, and your exercise doesn't have to be crazy. You don't have to be doing, you know, long Tabatas in the morning. Your heart pounding, stress, you know, the sweat just everywhere. It can just be a nice half hour walk with the dog. But you got to do something physical, take care of yourself. And then on the other side, you got to take care of yourself by eating healthy. You can't just be eating crap all the time. A bag of Doritos with 72 ingredients versus a blueberry. You might be able to eat the same amount of calories, but you're not getting the same benefit. You want to try to eat as many whole foods as you can. A whole food is, has the least amount of ingredients. A whole food is a blueberry, fish, strawberry, broccoli, spinach. You get the point. Second. You have to take care of your mind. We need to be learning. Humans are made to learn. You can't just finish high school, college, law school, medical school, your MBA, whatever it is. You need to be constantly learning. I'm always trying to learn new things. It's just good for you to always be learning. And then put what you learn to work. I've been working on myself for a few years now. A year ago before Corona, I hadn't even really done any live videos. And now I practice, I practice, and I enjoy it. I like coming on talking about these things because they inspire me. They get me fired up. I learn by teaching. And then third, you got to take care of your soul. And this one's dead. When I talk about taking care of your soul, I don't mean going to church on Sunday or temple on Friday or the mosque. What I'm talking about is taking care of your mind. Practice gratefulness. I wake up in the morning, I have a little journal, the five minute journal. I sit down and it asks me three things that I'm grateful for. And it focuses me every morning on three things that I'm grateful for. Then I write down three things that I want to happen today. Three things that I'm going to try to make happen. And I try to make those not work related. I volunteer with the Warrior Canine Connection. I look forward to that. I take Little Daisy, my dog, for a walk. These are nice things that I want to accomplish for the day that will make me feel better. I practice some breathing. Uh, whenever I get frustrated or 
I start to lose my temper. I just take nice, deep breaths, take myself out of the situation if I can. And that protects my soul. It's something that is good for my body and mind. So these are the three things I do to master the mayhem. I focus on the physical, I focus on my mind, and I focus on my soul. What do you do? How do you master the mayhem and cut out all of the noise, the bad news, the virus, the this, the that? Comment below, let me know. Find this useful? Give me a thumbs up, a heart, anything, uh, you know, a little smiley face. <laughs> and I will see you all tomorrow for a terrific Tuesday. Have an awesome Monday. Never skip a Monday. Get your workout in.